That's a lot of money. As today, we check in with voice actor, singer, and VTuber Amelie, aka Amanda or Leon Lai, but not Mandy, soon set to attend WeebCon this weekend, and earlier sharing this monarch is another year older. Older, yes, but possibly most definitely not wiser. Amelie earlier this morning tweeting, I know nobody means harm by this, but please don't come into chat just to say someone else went live or give us a play-by-play -play of someone else's stream. Even if that person is a friend. This has been happening dozens of times per stream and it's really gotten out of hand As what had also got out of hand was copium merch aligning with numerous vtubers and then owing them Thousands upon tens of thousands of us dollars the biggest of these revelations now coming from Amelie Saying over the last month many of you have seen statements from content creators who are owed tens of thousands of dollars from my former merchandise company copium merch I am heartbroken broken to share that I have also been impacted by their mismanagement. When I closed up my merch shop in December, I was owed nearly 60,000 US dollars in past revenue by Copium Merch. After taking ownership of $36,000 of unsold merchandise from the company, I am currently owed $22,000. That staggering loss and the order delays and difficulties you guys have expressed to me left me no choice but to sever all business ties with Copium Merch. In the months since, I've worked with ramen to fulfill your outstanding orders behind the scenes this entire process has been a huge strain on my mental health it's been challenging to stream like nothing is wrong while this unraveled in the background i had 3.0 merch ready to go for siren monarch's debut that i was never able to launch and i struggle with feeling like i've let my fans and my incredible community down in spite of everything i'm excited to move ahead with a new stronger merchandise partner and i can't wait to share my new merch with you in the future knowing it will be delivered in the timely and smooth way you guys deserve. I sincerely apologize for the delays experienced and I thank you endlessly for your patience and support. Once again, Copia Merch owing one single VTuber 60,000 US dollars for a massive transfer of unsold merchandise as now helping to pick up the pieces from that mess is Vit Ramen stating, please read for updates on Amelie, Bao, Shoto, Yuzu orders. We have been having email errors in which certain addresses will deny our reports reply emails, and we understand how frustrating of an experience this can be for you too, especially all of you who are coming over to get previous orders sent or fixed from Amelie, Bao, Shoto, and Yuzu. We hope to get through this as quickly as possible, as who is also singing the praises of Vit Ramen is V Shoujo Zentreya. Getting in on this trend, showing off her flags, promising a new outfit debut sometime this week, along with sharing me and Vit Ramen are cooking, plus also be sure to check out Vit Ramen, who have been super awesome to work with and are very kind to me. Appreciate all they have been doing and we are cooking up more than the chopstick legs. As who is also cooking is Shy Lily. This Orca VTuber receiving this animation from Flowers, originally illustrated by Mirei Yume, alongside Rai sharing this stinky worm. Shy Lily not only set to release her very own Nindoroid figurine, but further making this announcement of it's finally happening. I've been creating a playable and collectible VTuber trading card game with the help of Gamer Sups. It's called V-Card. Who wants to be in it? Limited slots available. Let me know in the comments. Here are some examples of my own V-Card. V-Card's Twitter banner remarking, don't take my V-Card, supporting VTubers and human artists, alongside the announcement of coming soon collectible V-Cards of your favorite VTubers. A fully playable TCG that is simple enough to learn in 60 seconds, and every round is played for pink slips. Comment to shoot your shot and be featured alongside Shy Lily in our first set, V-Card Rising Stars. And speaking of stars, we have Neurosama, or more to the point, Evil Neurosama. Announcing attention minions, it's my birthday and I'm going to throw a party. VN's offering up this artwork of the event with Happy Evil's Day, but in reality it worked out more like this. Evil remarking, you're all in for a terrible surprise. The party does not officially start till Vettel, Annie, and Neurosama all arrive in apologetic tears for being so late. That being artist and Fox VTuber Annie, Annie, sharing her flag once again and saying people keep guessing my accent all the time so here you go and asking do I look like a snack to you but proving to be the best mother she can be with this artwork of we love you evil but what about Papa Vettel it turns out he would not show up for the party and instead posted up this important statement from the CEO of Vettel AI a rambling one and a half minute mess Annie in turn replying with sink the yacht and Vettel saying the impact of evil's birthday stream 
stream on the channel will be negligible. And here now we have Demi giving out this Philippines mention alongside launching new merch with our culture that even with a plushie, as this VTuber earlier had gone public with their issues, receiving commissioned artwork from Neon Beat. That then leading to numerous VTubers also sharing that they had not received artwork from this artist for years on end. Demi then going on to post this artwork from Neon Beat and then receiving this DM of you're washing your hands out of this. Demi replying, I didn't take a new commission. It was the commission I did two years ago. He just finally finished it. You're throwing a lot of accusations and assumptions. This DM replying, you're endorsing a scammer because you got your art in line first. I'm not assuming anything. You just are not giving any thought to this. This VTuber further breaking it down, waited two years for commission, thankfully warned a lot of mutuals and friends of Neon's behavior to be known, finally got commission, post commission, and then a reply getting, you're washing your hands of the situation that you got attention from. Where did they get that from? Oh, well, we also have Gimiel sharing this okay law and addressing their issue with Neon Beat saying, this is my last straw. Since June, I have commissioned you and even made prompt payments, but I did not receive an update at all. Others after me received their sketches, so now all I'm asking for is a refund. Sharing the $600 invoice from June of 2023, then going on to ask for a refund in March of 2024. As Neon Beat in February before all of that would say, I'm sorry that I only reached out now. I'm sorry for everything and for prioritizing others. I just didn't know how to manage the work as almost everyone tried to refund. Neon Beat after that, taking some time to reply to further instances. Emio replying further as reposted, the case has been closed. As a client, please be aware and fight for your rights within 180 days of PayPal. And as an artist, remember to put up terms of service and abide to them to maintain trustworthiness and professionalism. But as a VTuber has another scam alert that regarding Freya, who is hopping from one account handle to the next, saying, be warned that she ghosts all socials and has not responded to me and other clients. If anyone has commissioned her, I suggest you do a chargeback ASAP on PayPal or with your credit card. And that's not all as we have my mama, Momote, showing off her flag with Messi, alongside stating this person is stealing my friends and my work. Would you please report, please be careful when commissioning people. That being this Freya account, how many Freyas are out there? Going on to block Momote and initially putting their account on private. They have since unprivated and are providing numerous examples of artwork that very questionably do not line up in art style with one piece to the next. Well, now we have the Butterfly Succubus VTuber and Twitch partner, Kana. The Succubus offering up her flag, along with this update, that being from YouTube, stating we have reviewed your content and found severe or repeated violations of our blank and blank policy. Nice try, YouTube, but I'm not saying that in this video. Because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. Kind of remarking, they just said this, so I don't know. I'll try to appeal, but don't have much hope. Then receiving this denial, kind of saying they didn't didn't even take 10 minutes. Surely a human reviewed it, right? This particular content creator specializing in ASMR and with this individual claiming credit. GG Maiden Slayer is back and trying to take credit, remarking my reports actually go through. Well, I'm surprised. Ha ga ha. Get wrecked bum. I spam reported your ass for content and you got banned. This particular individual's previous efforts being reported on by TBS back in June of last year, where they had also claimed orchestration of hate raids. As here now, we have Ame Doll, the Nicopolitan VTuber, soon attending WeebCon as a virtual guest, recently debutting her brand new 3D model, and holding a special graduation announcement stream. Saying please tune in for more details you won't want to miss, as Ame Doll was actually graduating. Receiving a bachelor's in human nutrition and saying she can quote unquote legally spit in your food and judge you for what you eat. As now we have a long awaited announcement from Ame Doll, posting this to inform why I am no longer working with Comfy Pie, now known as Ghost Lily, and for people to avoid him so they are not scammed in the future. This account now listed as Max at Ghost Lily, and Ame Doll laying out this statement, stating I'm writing this because I've been feeling sick over this for ages 
now because I feel guilty that I supported Comfy Pie and called him a friend. I thought we were really good friends too, but it feels like my trust was used against me and I was turned into his personal piggy bank. I hate that I even recommended him to other people for work and I regret doing so. He was amazing to work with in the beginning for me and I still love his art, but I was lulled into a false sense of security and was far too lenient on him and to this date has ghosted me out of my money and work since August 26th of 2023. Comfy Pie, my old model maker with the Antitune style has lied, emotionally manipulated and stolen money from multiple people who commissioned him including close friends and viewers of mine. He lied repeatedly about ISP issues, not seeing DMs and emails, to ghost people and essentially run away with people's money and owes me roughly 1,000 US dollars for three model outfits and two poster artworks. There are even posts on Twitter asking him to respond or finish work to which he never did. I only post this because I don't want other people to be scammed as well. I know I'm never getting my money back and I'll certainly never get back the time I could have spent with family, friends, or finishing university work instead of helping Comfy Pie deal with whatever personal issues he was going through. The out accounts he has made to get away from Comfy Pie have been Cointaz, Pentalel, and now Ghost Lily. Comfy Pie is a grown adult running a business and ghosting most, if not all your clients without telling them why is not appropriate behavior. I'm a doll showing multiple accounts this individual has been using. As further is Miyuki, a Kitsune VTuber set to re-debut in June. Stating thanks for calling this out, Ame. I'm still really upset, especially after hearing he has done this to others. I personally made a simple document to share part of my story with the money he took from me. I have nothing to show for the money I sent him. This commission beginning back in October of 2022 for a full body VTuber model with a price of 2,600 US dollars. Said to include all the bells and whistles. Updating in total, I've given him 1,300 US dollars. Of that, PayPal has only refunded me $64.11, as well as flagging the invoices and payments as a scam. And adding on that, we have Galmi VR. Saying to Amidal, thank you for bringing attention to this. It's sad seeing other people being affected by him, and I hope there's no more in the future. Showing these logs of being ghosted in mid-2023, then leading into October, with the only response being from June saying, hello, I'm seeing that you're messaging me on Discord, but I'm not seeing the messages. I just remembered that I have your email. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. Well, next we have Pasta. This VTuber and voice actress sharing, hey YouTube, can I get another 100,000 subscriber letter? I'm sure you'll never believe the dog ate my homework type excuse, but I'm for real right now. This VTuber sharing this photo saying, alternatively, can we get to 1 million subscribers real quick? This story even being picked up by Deserto and Pasta updating, YouTube did a W and is sending me a new one. Pasta adding that her dog, Mabel, got some extra Kong chew toys so this doesn't happen again. And here now we have Celia, the Sable Martin, sharing, I just indefinitely was banned from Twitch. I have no clue how I could have triggered this violation because I've not had access to my computer or Twitch account in over 20 days. I've been working 24 seven offline for my re-debut. This feels like a punch in the gut. Please help. Receiving this indefinite suspension for quote unquote botted or automated account. This VTuber receiving support and saying thank you everyone for the warm messages. I'm still really processing things, but I didn't anticipate so many people would come up to bat for me during this time. I feel really loved and appreciated in this community. Thank you all for sticking up for me. Let's hope it gets fixed. And now coming to us with this update, we are so back. Thank you everyone for helping my case get looked at. My account is back. Thank you so much, everyone. I will do what I can to make sure this doesn't happen again. That bringing us over to Abba Lamp. Sharing, I just want to thank you all again for all of the love and support on my new YouTube ASMR channel. Uh-oh, ASMR. I officially applied for the YouTube Partner Program today. My original goal was to be able to apply by the end of the summer, and you all blew that out of the water. Ava the next day updating us with, unfortunately, YouTube has denied me for monetization. This lamp tuber the next day updating us with, to my surprise, shock and awe. YouTube sided with me for my appeal and now my ASMR channel is part of the YouTube partner program and fully monetized. I am so stoked that it went in my favor and I was able to hit the goal so quickly because all of you amazing gloopies. Well, further celebrating YouTube partnership is Ariel and Roy saying we did it. Thank you guys for all the support with the voice acting channel. Couldn't have done it without all of you and my amazing team helping me. It's been a wild ride so far, but I'm so excited to keep creating more engaging, exciting, and fun audio role plays. That is numerous visitors will be playing a 
around in Uwu Land this weekend at WeebCon. As joining them will be the crime boss gang leader, Ellie. Grug posting this artwork and simply saying attractive. Ellie slated as a special guest for WeebCon's Uwu Land, saying so excited to meet you all at WeebCon and absolutely decimate your rib cages with my hugs. Ellie earlier also sharing off her flag with this A and further stating why I look like the flag WTF. As sharing that flag is the cosmic dragon Vienna, saying growing up in rural Canada, my culture was farming bland chicken and peas. Vienna further posting, small ass for WeebCon fans and friendos. Please do not take or post pictures of me without prior consent or permission. You can ask me in person or DM me. If you have been sick or around people who are sick, please don't give it to me. I will cry. My immune system is a... Vienna further saying, I'm so excited to announce I'm officially partnering with Uwu Market. Check out our WeebCon themed drop available in person and online for a limited time on March 29th. Yes, I'll sign the boobs. See you at WeebCon. Vienna also further teaming up with Novel Horizons, announcing a 1 7 scale figure. Novel Horizons saying in celebration of her upcoming third anniversary. Vienna posting these feet and saying, May 2024, save the date, tell your mom, as she is once again promising a brand new look. WeebCon will also have Dia Riku as a special guest, still currently in Japan alongside a recently graduated dog VTuber. And while Riku's been up to no good, in turn we have Chibi, returning to Uwu Land once again with Can't Wait to See You Stinkers, Chibi Doki being joined alongside Nags, as Chibi would further share Lamau, I got an account in Overwatch banned. But then sharing whoever made this is actually getting banned, as that's what she gets for banning my Overwatch account. Turning us next to Fifi. Also set to join Uwu Land as a special guest. Complete with the Yume Works Fifi bandwagon. Fifi further planning a new plushie launch on April 2nd. As also teaming up with Uwu Land is Sayu. Joining as a virtual guest and sharing new artwork like this saying, with spring comes the hope of new beginnings, you all are mine. Alongside reposting this scab request, as Sayu would make this mascot contest announcement asking, what do the Synchronites look like? You decide. Sayu sets a collab with Fillion today after earlier being a part of a Fire Emblem randomizer collab. That collab also involving Cleo Aite, former history professor, strategy addict, and Twitch partner. Not only set to join Uwu Land as a virtual guest, but also being featured by Shindig, saying this VTuber was once a history professor and recently did a history lecture on stream. It's really cool that all types of knowledge are being shared through the VTuber community. Imagine if more educators were VTubers, perhaps this is the future of educational content. Cleo after that shout out saying what the heck three times the milestone post these last few days have been rather wild and completely unexpected thank you so much for all of your support alongside thank you everyone for the kind comments and interest regarding the lecture thank you for sharing your passion for history and i hope we can have a lot of fun as soon set to have a lot of fun are the black vtuber awards their nominations closing this friday march 29th as throwing her hat into the ring is the moon bunny uzu campaigning for most unique design cozy content best loot YouTuber, best artist, and black VTuber of the year. Uzu also sharing my parents are very supportive, but it was a journey. I was the firstborn and the one who pursued the arts, so the fact that I could find something I love and that I could freely express myself made them really happy. Apparently, my mom also secretly lurks in my streams as Uzu is here also with her very own Uwu Market merch drop. Well, next, we're quickly dropping in with the Basilisk VTuber, Shinect. Making this debut announcement, Shinect V3 modeled Redeb Bew, promising a new model, lore video, new emotes and overlays, only for the teaser trailer to turn absolutely horrifying. Like, I wish I didn't see this before I went to sleep horrifying. Potentially teasing in ARG. As who's also debuting on March 30th is Ninkin Alice, a retired magical girl VTuber with one year left to live. And her bio on YouTube saying, let's make the most of it and create wonderful memories together using the time we still have. As we may be looking at a concept VTuber account from the outset set to run for one year and then after the faded day one year from now closing down for good. Alice already showing off an original animation and model preview by way of Kevin X. Lastly today we have an update from Shoost. This popular VTuber application now on version 0.12 adding a glow feature alongside with numerous other effects. This application available on both Fanbox and Patreon. As now today we'd like to thank 
Inc. Media at Mortuary Medium for this artwork. Alongside Vanny at Necro Dancing for this I'm Back in the Building Again artwork. And our co-host Lady has a special present for you. A brand new animated music video for her cover of Poison. You can check that out with the link below. As that is all for this episode, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord as we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.